All right, we're about to leave here for the Adirondacks for our white face uh, trip. Here comes Stacy. Look, there she is. What are you doing? Please leave me alone. I'm not in the mood for this. All right, let's take off. Five hours later. One forty-five in the morning, and we're here. Let's go. To bed. All right, we're here at Whiteface, about to start our climb. Let's see how this goes. Not actually sure if we're even in the right spot, so hopefully we don't hike around for a bit for no reason. All right, we're just over 30 minutes in. We are three quarters of a mile, and for some reason, this is super hard. Way harder than we thought it was gonna be. A lot more rocks than I thought, but a half hour in, what's your favorite part? I couldn't tell you. <laughs> All right, so Stacy's having a ton of fun. All right, we're just over an hour and a half in here. We are at 3,500 feet and about one and three quarter miles. Uh, this is pretty tough. Let's see, heart rate was we're around one, we're right at 100 right now. So yeah, let's, uh, let's keep going to the top, I guess. All right, so we made it to the top. It was challenging. It was uh, exhausting. We hit Esther first, which we don't know what we were doing. We probably shouldn't have. We are exhausted. Uh, we have made it though, as you can see, to the top of Whiteface Mountain. It is pretty windy up here. Probably pretty common because we're on top of a mountain. So, so I'm gonna explain uh, how exactly I would change my workout routines in order to train for this a little bit better. All right guys, so now that we've completed the hike, there's just a couple things I kinda wanna discuss on what I would've changed with my workout routine. I think I totally neglected flexibility, but my calves were really the only thing that tightened up that I felt like I had to actually stop for a minute and stretch out. I would've definitely worked on my calf flexibility a lot more and I think some excess glute work would have been, been more beneficial in the long run because that was probably sore for three or four days after the hike. Now, maybe that's just because I did, I think it took us about eight hours round trip um, with going to Esther and then to Whiteface and then coming back down. I think it was about eight hours. My watch actually died that I was keeping track on. I think at the end of the day, maybe the best way to train is to simply hike. As much as I try to prepare for all this so I think your best bet is maybe just start with small hikes and work your way up uh, jumping right into Whiteface Mountain probably isn't the best idea uh, definitely work some of the smaller peaks and make your way up but this is technically our first uh, our first two peaks out of the 46 so we're gonna attempt to hit all 46 over the next couple years so let's see how it goes we're actually planning maybe going back in October you guys liked this content this is a short vlog I I haven't done a video quite like this before uh, just let me know in the comments if this is something you want to see more of well you guys know the drill hit the like hit the subscribe button and we'll see you guys in the next video